what is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this davinci resolve tutorial today i have a very 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 long awaited video tutorial where i'm going to start teaching you guys some fusion stuff okay so there is a lot to learn in fusion like oh man so much to learn again i can't teach everything but all I can do is give you guys a little taste and really get you guys up and running so we can get onto the deliver page. So let's go ahead and jump right into the software and let's get into this fusion stuff. So what in the world is fusion? Fusion, the best way to explain fusion is have you ever seen a video? And the video is like doing something to the video. There's like an effect or there's like a visual thing or there's some cool CGI or there's some cool VFX overlay or tracking or holographic stuff or flickering stuff or, you know, superpower stuff or whatever you see on a video and you don't know how to do it. It's probably something that you can accomplish through fusion. Fusion, I like to think of it, is it really puts the magic on your video. It really makes your video just go from everyday person, at home production, home video, to high production video, depending on how complex your Fusion composition is. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back into the software here. So let's clear out our timeline and let's just start with the, the simple tour of Fusion. You can get to Fusion by hitting this little wand or the magic symbol as I mentioned again see black magic already knew hence the name no pun intended but they already knew that this is where all the magic really happens on your video and obviously you can see your media page right here you can see your effects page right here these are not normal effects now okay these are like way more effects these are fusion effects okay so there's a ton more that's why I told you fusion you can do a whole lot more in your video than you can on a normal regular video okay um, but pretty much that is that and then we're going to go ahead and just go to our media pool because we're going to need to see our media. And then, of course, this is going to be your playback here like normal. And then down here is where you're going to have your node tree. OK, see where it says nodes right here. This is where the nodes are going to happen. And that's actually how Fusion operates. You build Fusion compositions through nodes. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. One last thing I want to show you guys um, is this right here. You see this little line right here. You can actually drag and drop. You know drag and, and you know expand or collapse this i like to have a pretty big open space down here because this is where we're going to mostly work at anyway and so this is kind of where i like to live um but you know if you want a little smaller you can bigger so on and so forth but i kind of like to have mine about halfway now we got a few things here i'm going to go over some of these nodes a background node is exactly what it is it's a background it's like a frame it's 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 the frame that you're looking at in the background um fast noise again as noise text text paint you can paint on stuff yes like characters letters etc color corrector is a color corrector just like in color page you got your curves just like in a color page brightness contrast just like in a color page blur just like in the color page so see all this not so bad right it's, it's all pretty simple stuff until we get into this merge then we got multi-merge channel booleans mag control transform so on and so forth so again this is all new stuff and we're going to take these a little at a time okay and then over here on the right hand side we've got 3d stuff all right so we got your image plane 3d you got your shape 3d your text 3d merge 3d camera 3d etc okay so that's 3d over here this is like basic 2d stuff this has to do with node stuff okay all right oh and this is color stuff pretty simple and you can actually see a little divide line on each of these see this little divide line right here can you guys see a little divide line boom see it's already telling you that these are different categories for different uses and different things okay so i don't know if you guys knew that all right so let's start with something very very simple so i'm going to actually drag my media into here and watch what happens media in and here's my media out okay let me just drag this over here and click on it and you can move it around media in media out okay you guys see that you guys follow me so the media in and short is i like to think of this is what we're putting into the software okay and then the software is outputting that onto the screen you guys follow me so the media in is bringing in content and the media out is displaying that content to the screen that you're seeing so again it's a node though it's a media in node coming into the media out node 
Now you see this little line right here in between the two? You can actually, you see how when I hover over each end of it and the line turns blue? That's because you can break that connection. So let's say if I click on this over here and I break the connection by clicking on it, now we don't see anything. The reason why we don't see anything is because our media in is not connected to our media out. So it can't output anything. All right. So that little line is what connects or basically sends the data or the media to the output. You notice though on this media in now, you can actually preview this media in by dragging it up into your window and you can actually see it up here. And you can drag your media out up here and you can also preview what the media out will be. But you're not seeing anything right now because there is no output. Which means if we go right now, we hit play on our video, it's gonna be a blank screen because we don't have anything connected to our output. So let's take our media in and we're gonna drag or click on this little box here and we're gonna drag and connect it all the way to the output. And now you can see this is connected to this. Thus, we now see media out on our out page. This here on the right is exactly what they will see in the end. Okay? So to simplify it even more, if I make this only be one screen, if I click on the blue line again, click it, you see nothing. Okay? All right. You guys follow me? Now I'm just gonna get a little bit more complex. You see this media in here? You see all these little things around it? Okay? So let's kind of break this down a little bit. What in the world is this little blue arrow? Well, anything with an arrow has to do with an input. And then a square on the side of it has to do with it with its output. So basically, we're saying take the media in or this video here. Here, we, you know, make this simple. Let's rename this video clip. Right. Let's take our video clip. And let's show it let's take the output so you get you got to click on the output if you try to click on this right here that's that's coming in it's saying hey th no th you're feeding something into this video that's not what we want we want to take this video and feed it out to the output and that goes into the input section of the output you see these little arrows pointing it into here so it's almost like taking the video clip and saying okay take this object and put it out on the screen. Now our video clip is coming into our out, thus we have now video on the screen here. All right, cool, I think we've got it. But that is pretty much Fusion in a nutshell. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because that is a lot of information, guys. I know that's a lot and we're gonna revisit this, but I figured I would go ahead and give you guys a quick little introduction and give you guys some notes overview, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful year, and we'll see you guys in the next Fusion video. Take care.